Hello everybody, welcome to Nana's Journey. I'm Deanna and today we are going to do the station wagon. Hopefully we'll get to the camping sign too of Lori Holt's um, vintage camping. And I've got all my pieces cut out using alphabeties. I've got my directions right here. And we'll just get started. So step one, we need W, W, W. I need a W. That I had, okay. And B. And B goes this way. And I need a W on both sides of that. For the W's, I went ahead and made my lines. So, but the other ones, I don't know which other ones will be used. Okay, that one turned out okay. And that one turned out okay. So S to the bottom of B. S. Right here. To the bottom. And press towards S. Use the white K and sew it on the top left corner of A. And you want to make sure you draw your lines on and not guess. And I have to draw my lines just a smidgen towards the side that's getting trimmed or else mine never fit and I don't know why. But that is what I do. That looks good. Another W. All right, we can trim those ones. Now I think we're on to the uh, tire section. Those are busy sections. So T to the bottom of A. And the bottom would be the one that has the darker end on it. So Z onto each corner of J. All of them? One, two. So I know I need to do at least these two.
Okay, so those are all good. I'm going to get them pressed and trimmed. <clears throat> okay, there's two of my almost tires. <laughs> okay, and we're going to sew Y onto each side. And then we will sew X onto each side, I believe. Nope. Oh, nope. Y on each side, X on one side. And one tire gets it on both sides, one tire does not. G will go into these two corners. W goes to here. Okay, now we have one round tire. Fix this one. Okay, then we have the other tire, and we need D. These will go together like this. We're going to put these two sections together. Okay, 
I'm going to set that aside and finish working on the other unit with the tire. So we need U and E. We need E and U. E will go on top of U. And those will go together. And then we need F and V. And those will go F will go on top of V, but they go the long way. And those two will go right there. Okay, we want L. and W. And that goes over here. Okay, so now we can put, oh, now we need C and J, C and J, what did I just do with C? And then I believe we need another W. Yep. At the top here. Now we can sew this to this. Wrong. We sew it this way. <laughs> Not upside down. Now we can sew this to this. That looks wrong, <laughs> but I guess not. JK. Was J really supposed to be white? J and K, I think I cut out of the wrong material. Let me check. J. No, it says it's white. Let me look at the picture. 
Oh, yep, it's white. Comes down like that and goes across. So, okay. Let us take N. Let's start with one and H. And then M is going to go next to that. Okay, and then another H. And O. And then H. Okay, we want a Q. Oh, no, we don't want to do Q yet. <clears throat> we want to do I. We're going to put a W on it. Okay, and that gets sewn on top of these. Let's make sure I have. N, N, H, M, H, N. Oh, I missed one. Okay, well, this is my first unpicking. And then put this back on. Okay, so I have N H M H N H. Oh, oh, I put it upside down. Okay, that's three. <laughs> and this is the easy part. Okay, right side up. Okay, there's this. And then there's this Now we take Q, put it over, draw an X, not an X, a line. Okay. 
since this is a big piece of scrap, I'm just going to make another line, sew so line, cut in between. And that gives me a spare unit that I can use someday, somehow, maybe. Okay, let me get that ironed. Okay, now we need to put our right here. Ooh, I'm missing. Where did I miss a piece? I did. I missed a piece. After, oh, so this is what, four? Still the easy part. And that's why this was too long. So now I've got to take this off, recut this, put this back on so that it's longer, so that H will be here. So I'll be back in a bit. Okay. This goes this way. I don't want to sew it on upside down. Okay. N H M H N H O H. Now we can put on I. Folded that over. Forgot to trim that. And that is going the right direction. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's better. Okay. Put this back. Okay. So, there's Q. Now we need R. Okay, now we are ready to sew this. We are not ready to sew this to this. We need to sew this to this. And then we can put the two halves together. is long so I am going to pin it with the right sides <laughs> going together I almost put that upside down
And there we have our station wagon. And I have to confess, I didn't follow the directions like I said I would in part one. I followed the picture. So it was easier and it would have worked if I had just paid better attention. <laughs> but now I need to get to the camping the camping letters and then we can attach those to the station wagon. Okay, now we're working on the letters and we will start with C. Well, that did me a lot of good. And I've marked the ones that I think I'm going to have to mark ahead of time. I don't know if I've missed any or not. So, you want to take the two B's and put them on the upper left and the bottom left. And we want to sew this one to this one. And this one goes here, and that one goes there, and we have our C. We have our C. Now for A and H. Oh, H. This is not right. Let's see. A two and a half inch square, yes it is. E. The dimensions in the pictures are different. <laughs> so I'm wondering if that's a mistake. Because in the picture, these two should be the same size. Okay, let's work on B E. going to put a square this way and one the other way. put the brown in the middle of these two. So that will go there. I need and the A goes this direction. Thank you. 
Let's get these sewn together. This is supposed to go here. I still think that's the wrong size. <laughs> Unless I cut this one wrong. So a I did, I cut this one wrong. So, I still think that one's too big. But let me fix this. Okay, let's get this square put back on. Okay, yeah, that is too big, I thought so. So let me just get this sewn on and then we can trim it. There's our A and we've got it trimmed and I should hurry and fix that Okay, that's fixed in case there's a next time. Okay, now on to M. Okay, we need to take both of these. I'm going to need to put them here. And do this first. Make sure they're going the right direction. Okay, and they also get two that go this direction, that's what I thought, okay. Now we're just going to pin those together so that the, I'm going to sew these other seams the other direction. I'm sorry, iron. Okay, and now those seams can nest. I'm going to press that open because there's a lot of seams there. Okay, make sure it's right side up. And we're going to put this piece, this is just a square so it doesn't matter which side. We're going to put one of these on each side and we will have our M. And 
and we have our M. Now on to P. Okay, we're gonna take this piece and two of these. Okay, there's part of the P, and we need to take this one and put the brown in the middle. Okay, then I put these together and then add that. And now I sew this piece to this and we will have our letter P. Now for our I, which will be really easy, we just put the brown in between. I. <laughs> now for N. Okay, we want to start with this one and again make two corners. short one goes here. This goes here. So there's our N. And now for G. We're going to take one of these and put this here 
and this one here. So they're going like this. Okay, this here, whoops, nope, okay wait, this one goes here, this one goes here. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. But do it right side up. <laughs> Almost had to unpick that. And then this gets put here. G. Now they also have an exclamation mark, which again, you just put the brown in the middle of the strips. It's like the eye, just upside down. exclamation mark. Now we need to put them together. So we'll take the C, make sure it's right side up. There was this. Okay, we've got a bunch of strips and we need to put one in front of the A. Then we'll put these in between each of the letters. It looks like this is a quarter inch too short, so I'm going to fix that. But I'll wait and see if any of the others are short.
Okay, let me replace this one and I will be right back. Okay, I checked the pattern and I cut that piece out right, but it was too short. It's about an inch and a half off. So, I cut a new piece, checked the other pieces, and it looks like everything else is going to work. I actually cut that just a, maybe a quarter inch longer. I'm just going to sew. I need to put the C on. Now we need to sew this on. Okay, we have our camping word, and now we need to sew our station wagon onto that. And hopefully they are the same size. Need to iron that open and then attach the trailer. Got the trailer. That is a big block. <laughs> and I still have to put the end pieces on. Okay, let me get this pressed and I'll show it to you. Okay, there it is, pressed and ready to put together. When I pressed it, I noticed this square right here was sideways, so I had to unpick that, turn it, and put it back on. And I forgot to count how many times I had to unpick, so if you guys counted, you can put that in the comments. So we've got this part done. That's the, the main part. Sewing the blocks together is super easy and won't take much time. So that will be next. Hopefully I'll be able to line up these seams right here with the blocks. Otherwise I might have to trim a little 
to get it to fit. I don't know. But we will see.